Hello again. This is Dr. Ashwini Joshi. In previous lectures, we discussed about gharana and its significance in Indian classical music. Let's just revise it in short. We all know there is a rich tradition of gharanas in Hindustani classical music. the music gharana are also called styles these schools or gharanas have their basis in the traditional mode of musical training and education every gharana has its own distinct features the main area of difference between gharanas is the manner in which the notes are sung the concept of a guru shishya leads to the development of gharana the gharanas emerge from the creative style of a genius who gives existing st- structures of totally new approach from an interpretation the new approach from an interpretation apply to include the tone of the voice the pitch the inflections and the intonation and the specific application of the various nuances Okay now let's have a look at popular gharanas of Hindustani classical music Today we will start with Gwalior gharana which is the most ancient gharana in Indian classical music okay uh let's learn about first history of gwalior gharana the origin of everything is always fascinating when it comes to the origin of music the theory behind it is even more fascinating the origin of music in india is considered to date back of the era of samavid in ancient india the only way for the spreading of music was by the word of mouth be it from a guru to his disciple or from ancestor to their following generations thus started the formation of gharanas such passing on of the teaching of music from generation to generations from gharanas and among all gharanas the gwalior gharana has always been one of the most prominent ones we can see hindustani music without gwalior gharana would be impossible to imagine whenever the terms music and gwalior are mentioned together it always reminds everyone of one of the greatest singers of all time mia tansen ji he was one of the first few vocalists in the court of mughal emperor akbar tracing its origin it is believed that ustad nathan kha peer baksh uh, the son of ustad makhan kha 
and his brother Ustad Shakkar Khan both acquired training under Gulam Rasul. But later, due to some rivalry, their ways parted. On one hand, where Ustad Makhan Khan become more famous and lovable for his people. Shakkar Khan's journey was not well outlined. According to the most famous theory, following his Guru's steps, he imparted all his teachings to his son. And the cycle went on and on, thereby leading to the formation of Gwalya Gharana. After this era, Ustad Bade Muhammad Khan came into picture. He was known for his fast pace of music and the way he composed his bandish in such a manner that on one hand he accepted the Gwalior Gharana culture and on the other he made his own additions to it. Uh, in this way various artists poured their knowledge and gave their inputs to enhance the Gaiki of Gwalior Gharana. Uh, now I will share the screen which will show you the family tree and the famous artists of Gwalior Gharana. One minute. Sorry, one minute, huh? No, uh, one sec. Yes. This is Gwalior Gharana family tree, right? Okay. I think now it is visible. Okay. Now, please take a screenshot of this slide. Okay. Now, the artist of Gwalior Gharana. I will show you. Uh, one minute. Yes. Gwalior Gharana artist, the list of artists of Gwalior Gharana and uh, no, um, okay, no problem, we will proceed. give me one minute I think there is one uh, technical problem yes 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 I got it yes this is the uh, list of Gwalior Gharana 
यस दिस इज द मेन आर्टिस्ट ऑफ ग्वालियर घराना ओके यू कैन टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ दिस ऑल्सो आई एम स्टॉप शेयरिंग Okay, now let us understand the style of this gharana. The Gwalior gharana usually prefer to begin ragas in the medium tempo, means madhyalay, rather than the slow tempo, vilambitlay, as is the norm with other gharanas. number 2 uh, mostly uh, sang ragas in gwalior gharana are uh, hamir alaiya bilawal uh, yaman kamod sarang uh, bhairav shri uh, gaud malhar uh, miyaki uh, malhar uh, multani bhup uh, malgunji uh, basant uh, etc ओके दीज आर द वेरी सिंपल रागास ओके थर्ड पॉइंट इज इन दिस घराना सिस्टमैटिक फ्रेज वाइज डिलीनेशन ऑफ द राग अकॉर्डिंग टू कंपोजिशन मेंटेन्स इट्स इट्स प्योरिटी नंबर फोर there is a dance like grace in sargam importance of vowels in badhat like akar ekar and okar as we heard before the gwalior gharana style involves beginning with the slow tempo right khyal in a single theka the dilation of the composition is done with the ashtanga pradhan gayaki means eight aspects i will explain it one by one number 1 alap behlava it is the introductory alap sung before and specific bandish unlike the slow alap of kirana gharana number 2 bol alap it is the next one um, in which the different words of the text are sung in different ways of ways to be followed by murkis in which notes are sung with ornamentation at a faster pace right number 3 uh, laikari along with bol baat before the commencement of the tan number 4 Tana. Tanas in uh, Gwalior Gharana are sung in intricate varieties and are well known and distinct for their marvelous forms, in which each note shines like pearl on a string. Bol Tan. नंबर फाइव फिफ्थ पॉइंट बोलतान बोलतान एंटेल द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मेलोडिक सिक्वेंसेस विद द वर्ड्स ऑफ द सॉन्ग नंबर सिक्स गमक 
गमक लैंड्स अ फोर्स और अ प्रेशर मीन्स वजन इन हिंदी और मराठी टू द नोट्स यूज मींड नंबर सेवन पॉइंट इज मींड इट इज द मोमेंट ऑफ स्वर एस्टैब्लिशमेंट विच इज संग अलॉन्ग विथ द श्रुतिज मीन्स सा सा दिस इज कॉल्ड मिंड ओके नंबर एट मुर्की खटका एंड जमजमा इट इज अ क्लस्टर ऑफ नोट्स दैट साउंड्स लाइक अ शॉर्ट सटल तान now uh we will focus on the other characteristics of gwalyar gharana we just learned ashtang pradhan gayaki ashtang uh, eight aspects of uh, gwalyar gayaki and now we are focusing on the other characteristics of gwalyar gharana uh number 1 open throated and bold voice production number 2 correct posture and pronunciation in singing number 3 simplicity and lucidity to explain this point i will uh, share one clip of uh, uh, pandit dv paluskar uh, he is uh, one of the uh, famous artist in gwalyar gharana one minute this is rag yaman One minute. Yes. Ragyaman by D. V. Paluskar. I'm gonna do it again. 
very nice uh, this is rag yaman and uh, uh, the simplicity uh, you can see um, the simplicity uh, of on this uh, recording uh, sapat tan um, open throated and uh, bold voice uh, but uh, still uh, it has uh, aesthetic aspects uh, of uh, that uh, gwalior gaiki okay uh, we will continue uh, the next point uh, ha point number 5 uh, gwalher uh, in gwalher gharana uh, they uh, preferred uh, the tals are um, jhumra tilwada adha punjabi theka uh, in teen tal for uh, chhota khyal ada chautal uh, ek ek tal etc uh number 6 sapat tan is the main feature of gwalier gaike the uses the uh, sapat tan uh, which is very important feature of gwalier gaike uh now let us hear an uh, one another uh, audio of uh, malini tai rajurkar it will help uh, you to understand the feature these features of gwalier gharana okay one minute One minute, huh? I will show you the ha huh, the alaya bill. Thirty-five percent growth in twenty twenty-one. What if you mastered the three most in-demand? ये था राग विभास. इसके बाद मालिनी इराजुर करने राग alaya bilawal में दो रचनाएं प्रस्तुत कीं. विलंबित ख्याल तिलवाड़ा ताल में. इसकी आरंभ की पंक्ति है. दया कहाँ गए लोग? और दूसरी रचना तीन ताल में है बोल है जारे 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 का गवाह दैट वाज राग विभाग यू विल नाउ हियर टू कॉम्पोजिशन इन द राग अलैया बिलावल संग बाय मालिनी रजुरकर द विलंबित कॉम्पोजिशन इज सेट टू तिलवाड़ा ताल वाइल द द्रुत इज इन तीन ताल ताल इज तिलवाड़ा एंड राग इज अलैया बिलावल
Yes. Wow. How beautifully she sung Rag Alaya Bilawal. Here we can understand the all features of Gwalior Gharana. I think this is the good example of Ashtanga Pradhan Gayake. In this audio, uh, you can uh, point out the specific Rag of uh, Gwalior Gharana uh, which is Alaya Bilawal the specific Taal uh, in th uh, that is Tilwada uh, the Lai is Madhyam means uh, uh, medium tempo open throated voice production uh, Bolala uh, Gamak Mint um, and Sapattan I hope you uh, understood in brief about uh, Gwalior Gharana in this lecture. Uh, let's meet in next lecture. Now, bye for now. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.